Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 It's another glorious day. It's another wonderful day. Prophetic declaration. This is the 22nd day. And this is going to be very, very glorious. It's going to be mighty. We are here to eat from the king's table. And most certainly, we are going to hear um, the word of God. And we are going to be blessed today. I welcome everybody, both far and near, all over the place to um, prophetic declaration. But before we start, we're going to go ahead um, and start um, with opening prayer. And with that, I have, I believe, that is a brother, Kissy, am I correct? Yes, brother, brother, Wako Kissy, all the way from Ghana. God bless you, sir. God bless you, man. God bless you. We thank God for such a wonderful time. I thank Daddy Mike and Mami Gloria for the opportunity and all the executives, I wouldn't want to waste my time. Let us zoom into prayer. For this 22 days, God has been with us, and we have eight days more, and we believe God will take us far. And so let us just zoom into the prayer by thanking God. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We bless your name. We honor your name, O oh God, for all the things you've done for us for these 22 days. You have been with us. You have shielded us. You have protected us, O oh God. You have impacted into our lives. Many were the plans of the enemy against our life, but you saved us from them all. And you have imparted our life to impact the nations. And so, Father, we are so grateful. We are grateful for our Father in the Lord. We are grateful for our Mother in the Lord. We are grateful for the executive body. We are grateful for all these days that you've been with us. Father, we pray and we commit the rest of the program into your hands. Father, it is our prayer that Lord Jesus come and be with us. Connect us unto you in the name of Jesus. Anyone who shall participate, anyone who shall lead, oh God, use the best, the person as a vessel to bless our life, to impact into our life prophetically in the name of Jesus. We shall go far, we shall exceed, we shall excel, and we shall be victorious in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, that the program will be successful. We pray that there wouldn't be any technical hitches in the name of Jesus. You shall use our Father, you shall use our mother, we shall use our sisters that shall lead us in the praise and worship to bless us in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We come against any impediments. We come against any hindrances the enemy has lined up. And we believe this program will be a success in the name of Jesus. For those who are struggling to join us, oh God, make way, oh God. Those who will join us, make them a blessing in the name of Jesus. Let us go far in Jesus' name that we pray. We thank you and we bless your name. In Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen, 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 in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much uh, for that wonderful uh, prayer. Thank you for that blessing that you have altered, and so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Now we're going to go into praise and worship. Um, we're going to call on Sister Busola Ajayi, all the way from United Kingdom. Sister Busola, unto you, ma. God bless you, ma. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you hear me, Ma? Yes. Can you hear me, Ma? Yes, Ma, I can hear you. You can go ahead. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Ma. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord wherever we are. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory. Wisdom is given. Yeah, I don't know. Power of mind. Be unto the Lord. Forever and ever. Amen. Amen, amen. And glory, we sometimes give again. Oh, no, power of mind, be unto the Lord forever and ever. Amen. It's a lie. 
Serving the God of miracles, I know, yes, I know. Jesus shall reign forevermore. He shall reign forevermore. My Savior shall reign forevermore. Forevermore, our master shall reign forevermore. He shall reign forevermore. He shall reign. Jesus shall reign. He shall reign. Jesus shall reign in my life. He shall reign. Jesus shall reign. He shall reign. Jesus shall reign in our lives. He shall reign. Jesus shall reign in our midst tonight. He shall reign. Jesus shall reign in our lives. He shall reign. Jesus shall reign. He shall reign. Jesus shall reign in our lives. Drive all shall rise again. Drive all shall rise again. Drive all shall rise again. Thy bones shall rise again. The Lord Jehovah is able to do all things. He's able, able. Thy bones shall rise again. Thy bones shall rise again. Thy bones shall rise again. I want you to take a moment and prophesy into your life, into your ministry, into that marriage, over that child that is troubling you. Over that situation that looks impossible, I want you to engage God in your praise tonight and say, Ha, ah, dry bones shall rise again. Just like Ezekiel in the valley of dry bones. The Lord said, Prophet, to this dry bones. And the prophet said that it was commanded. And the bones came back, bone to bone, flesh to flesh. In the name 
name of Jesus, I decree and declare every dry bones in our life is rising up again right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Dry bones shall rise again. 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 The Lord Jehovah is able to do all things. He's able to do all things. I said dry bones shall rise again, dry bones shall rise again, dry bones shall rise again, dry bones shall rise again. I said dry bones shall rise again, dry bones shall rise again, dry bones shall rise again, dry bones shall rise again. God is able to do just what he says he would do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Oh, don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able. Hallelujah. How many of us know that God is able to do what he would say he would do? Covenant keeping God is his. again, dry bones shall rise again, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, hallelujah, 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 dry bones shall rise again, thank you so much, thank you so much, sister. God bless you, God bless you, more anointing for you in the name of Jesus, more anointing, Amen. thank you, ma. the next on our list now is to call on Mommy, uh, for the message, Evangelist Gloria Bamiluye. Uh, mommy in the Lord, God bless you, ma. You are welcome, ma. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can you hear me? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are grateful to God for his mercy, for his faithfulness. God has been blessing us. It's like God is giving us some uh, some a revelation of His mind to prepare us for the next year. It's like we have been God is giving us the real injection, the, the medicine we need to prepare us for the next year. So I give Him the glory, and I want us to appreciate God for all the men of God and women of God who have been ministering to us. The Lord will increase your anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to appreciate him. I want us to, do, wherever you are, just raise your hand to Jesus. Just appreciate him for what he has been giving us. God has been releasing his word into our life. He has been talking to us. It's like God was just preparing us for, the next, for this year. God is working on us. God is preparing us. God is, is touching every aspect of our life. So that by the time he starts moving our life, We'll be able to walk and move with him. Let us appreciate God. He's a father indeed. He's been walking through us. He's been walking in our lives. He's been cleansing us, purging us, pouring his anointing upon our life. All those proph prophetic quadrants has been power, anointing in our life. God is charging us. Let us praise him. Let us honor him. Let us exalt him. Father, we are grateful. We are grateful because you have called us into your presence to bless us and to prepare us for greater things you want to do in our lives. To you alone behold the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' precious name we pray. 
We thank God, we worship his holy name. Today, again, we are going to listen to very short, very short message before, before we enter into prophetic um, word that shall be released into our life. I want to read this book of Hebrew, Hebrew, the book of Hebrew chapter nine, verse 13. He said, for if the blood of bulls and of goats and the hashes of an ephah, strictly the unclean, sanctified to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Jesus Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead work to serve the living God. This was a message that came to my mind this morning. And I was wondering, we had the same, something like this yesterday when the man of God was talking to us. But I discovered that the word of God, there's emphasis in the word of God. If not, there will be Matthew, Mark, John, they have been saying the same thing. So I believe it is God is emphasizing it, the need for us to be righteous to be in his presence because of what he wants to do in our life. From that verse, he was talking about the sacrifice Jesus made. Jesus, Jesus did all this without any spot. That was what caught my attention. Jesus sacrificed, he laid himself down. He delivered us from the paths of darkness. He saved our soul. He cleansed our current consciousness by his blood. He released himself to God. To, for this uh, for this grace, mighty assignment, Bible says without spots, without spot. That was what really caught my attention. That is, Jesus also paid the price. He was a man. He was liable to sin, even though he was God then, but when he came to the world. But he became a man like us. So he experienced what he experienced. He has mighty ministry in his hand to fulfill and you can see that even while he was on earth, he was being tempted, you know, through every means, through the religious leaders of his days, even through the disciples, they tempt Jesus, even you, they, that Satan even used his, his beloved, like Peter, just to distract the attention of Jesus Christ, so that he will not be able to fulfill his mandates, the ministry he has called to do. So he faced a lot of temptations, persecutions just for him to be I mean, to, to, to disqualify him from coming to fulfill his purpose. Remember the devil entered into Peter just to distract his attention. Even the devil went to wait with him to the cross. On the cross, when he was about to die, that thief on the cross also spoke against Jesus Christ just for him to miss the great mandate, the mission he has come to the world to do. But in all, Jesus Christ was able to overcome. Why? Because, he, he, what, because the book of Hebrews says something about Jesus Christ. He was able, he did all this thing without committing any sin, without any stop, and any spot. That was why Jesus Christ was raised high above all names. Bible says he has given him a, a, a name above all other names that are the name of Jesus every name was bound. Why was he able to finish the great assignment God has given him? As a man, Jesus died. He did not fail. He did not fall, did not listen to the work of the devil. He obeyed his father. He lived righteously. He lived in holiness. He walked without spots and he fulfilled his mandate. And God was able to fulfill what he proposed to do through Jesus Christ. He raised him up above all other names. That is, that, is, that is the reason why we are today, every name was bowed and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. I remember it was a man when he was doing all this thing. But the book of Hebrews says something about Jesus Christ. He said it in Hebrews chapter 1, verse 8 to 9. He said, For unto the Son is said, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. Now, thou art loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, God, even thy God, 
at anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellow. Why did God raise Jesus so high? Why did Jesus Christ, why did God honor his son so high like that to make him the, 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 the God of the Lord of Lords and our Father, in fact, the Savior of the whole world? Why did he, you know, exalt the name of Christ? Because he, he loved righteousness and he hated iniquity. He loved righteousness and he hated iniquity. Because of those two reasons, God raised Jesus Christ above all. So if you, and for us, when God is, what God is saying about this year, there's going to be an incredible enlargement, astonishing expansion and so on and so forth. All this thing is what God intends to do through us and what he loves to do through us. But all these blessings is not about us. It's about what God wants to do through you and what God wants to do through me. When God, when, when God raised David, David, David was just ordinary man, but because he hated iniquity, he walked with God, God blessed him. Joseph was raised high. Jesus was tempted. He was about to even fall, I mean, fell and miss it, but he hold on to God. He said, how can I do this and sin against God? God was taking him to, a, to the throne, but the devil will have you know, messed up everything along the way and hinder this man from getting to that promised land, that enlargement, that expansion, that we glorify God. Because what God is about to do is God wants to showcase all to the world. He wants the attention of the world to look at Jesus through, our, through the great thing he will do through you and through me. The whole world, we know there are some people calling Jesus Christ. The attention will look and say, who are these people? They want to know our God. When you are enlarged, look, see what happened to Joseph. I mean, Isaac, when he, was, he, was, when he sold in that land, in a the, in the land that, that's the barren land, desert land, he sold and God caused him to prosper. And when, it, when he became so prosperous, the Gentiles, they envied him. They look at his direction. They know this is a man who served the living God. So all this astonishing enlargement promises, wonders the Lord will, will do all my cross. They will not be able to touch you. God will fence you around with his power. All those protection for you to be alive, to fulfill his purpose. So it's about God. It's about heaven. It's about what he wants to do in our life. It's, the, it's what God will achieve through us. But we must be like our Lord Jesus Christ. We must follow the step of Jesus. We must hate iniquity and love righteousness. If you don't do that, is the way God can be able to, I mean, to fulfill his purpose through us. What he wants to do is it will be done by God when we walk in the step of our master. Jesus Christ ate iniquity. Jesus Christ ate iniquity, but he loved righteousness. As, as, as children of God, beginning from being born again, if you, are not being, if you are not giving your life to Jesus Christ, you still embrace iniquity. This thing cannot be possible. You will hinder God from freeing the suffering through you. Look at Jacob. Jacob was a blessed child. He has a blessing on him. But because he allowed iniquity in his life, he put on the garment of slavery. He became a slave. He put on the garment of soul. He roamed around in that slavery position till he renounced his evil deeds. Till God, till he saw the angel and the Lord changed his name. So if you are still embracing the new crazy or righteousness, all these things will be hindered. The devil will hinder it. It will, it, it will not be possible. But God is asking us today, you are hearing me today, you need Jesus because that is your righteousness. Jesus was entered into your life. You must live for him so that what God wants to do will be possible in your life. Let me read under, like the, the final verse I want to read is in Psalm, Psalm 50 verse 2. Psalm 50 verse 2 says, Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God has shined. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God has shined. That is, out of Zion, the Lord will release his glory, his beauty will be seen by the world, when you, when you serve God faithfully, when you embrace the way of God and you walk away from iniquity, 
God in Zion, those are the people, children of God that are in Zion. They will see the glory, the beauty of God will radiate through you to the world. He now said in verse 5, he said, gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Gather my saints unto me. For, for uh, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. They are saints. God said, gather them to me. God is gathering his saints, not sinners, not those who are walking in hypocrisy, not those who are not walking right, not those who are deceiving people, those who don't love God. Even though they are in the church of God, they love service, their sacrifice is not accepted by God because they are not saints. God is gathering saints. You can become one of them when you have Jesus as your Lord and Savior. When you have given your life to you and renounce all work of unrighteousness. He said, gather the saints unto me. Those who are make a covenant, they enter into a covenant because like, like we are accepting what is happening right now. This prophetic utterance and everything God is saying to us, we are entering into a covenant with God. We are signing it. Say, Lord, we believe you. We know you are going to do this. But you must be saints. You must walk right. You must hate iniquity. You must love righteousness so that those things God is saying will be fulfilled in our life. Gather my saints unto me. God is gathering his saints to himself. People that are ready to follow God. People that are ready to live righteously and work against iniquity. If you see allow any sin in your life, this is a time to renounce it. A child of God is not working faithfully with God. This is the time. This period of prayers and fasting, of waiting in God's presence, God is cleansing us. God is purging us. God is working on us so that the glory of God can be seen in our life. Gather my saints. God is gathering them together. He's gathering us unto himself. Unto his saints, he will reveal mystery. He will reveal revelation. You will see new things happening to you. At the end of this fasting and prayer, I'm telling you, you can never remain the same. You must, you must move close to him so that you can see what he wants you to see. But what are the things in our life that the devil may use to either what God wants to do? Are you serving God faithfully? Are you walking in his fear, in his righteousness? Do you embrace holiness or iniquity? This is them to renounce all these things and walk with God. So I want us to pray briefly. If you have not given your life to Jesus, ask Jesus to save your soul. That is the, that's the first point. That's the, that's the primary thing you first must do to, to, to embrace righteousness so that Christ can begin to live inside of you. You must embrace righteousness because God is about to do great things. If Joseph has worked against God, if he has sinned and compromised, he will never get to the throne. He will have died, you know, in slavery on, uh, in, the, in, the, in the house of Potiphar because he, because he, he, because, but because he hated unrighteousness, because he hated iniquity, God fought for him, even though he suffered for a while, but he got there and he became the prince. I mean, he became the savior of the world then. Whatever God is saying, he will do it. He will raise us high. Whatever has committed to your hand to do, he will do it in your ministry, in your business, in your personal life, in the work of God he has committed to your hand. He will do it, but hate iniquity. Walk with God. Call Jesus into your life to save your soul. You must be born again. Have Jesus. And you have been compromising as a child of God. Reject it now. Let them go. Embrace God. Embrace his ways so that he can fulfill all his promises that, is, that, is, that, that he has promised us and that he will take us. By the time we, by the time we are moving towards this end of, end, uh, this year, you will look back and you will know that you are at another level. God must have raised you high in your spiritual life, in your, in your personal life, in blessings and enlargement. God must have fulfilled his promise and he will fulfill it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want us to pray briefly. Just call on God, Father, I know I've not been walking right. Forgive me. Have mercy on me. Whatever I've done wrong in my life or in my behavior, in my attitude. Oh, Lord Jesus, I've not even, I've not even accepted Christ 
I'm here. To, I, I, I pray today, forgive all my sins. I call Jesus into my life to save my soul. Jesus, save me. Deliver me from every unrighteousness. Let me be planted in the house of God. Save me completely. And I know you will take me there in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you're a child of God and you have compromised in so many ways, ask God for forgiveness and receive power to live for him. As we are in his presence at this moment, receive that strength. Don't cross, don't let these prayers and fasting go like that without becoming new, becoming what God wants you to be. You that be, to embrace righteousness and to love God with all your life. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless you for what you have been doing during this time. Thank you because you are working on us. I pray, Father, we want to, we want to follow the step of our Lord Jesus Christ. You want to embrace righteousness. You want to hate iniquity. Because we know when we embrace your ways, when we embrace Jesus, you fulfill all your promises in our life. We pray, Father, for those who are yet to know you, reveal yourself to them tonight in Jesus' name. Save souls tonight, O oh God. Cleanse them with the blood of Jesus and write the name in the book of life. We pray for your children, all those who have compromised their stand with one thing or the other, they have walked away from righteousness. We pray, Father, that you, that you have mercy tonight. We pray for total restoration and give us the grace to embrace you, to hate iniquity, to love righteousness, to be bold for Jesus, not to be shy away or to be hiding our identity. You want to declare who we are in you. You want to walk with you and love you. Please, Father, reveal yourself to us more and prepare us ready to serve you better in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. 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 That, was, that was wonderful. Thank you so much, Father. God bless you, mighty. Privilege to serve in the vineyard. Thank you so much. May God have mercy on us. May God help us to truly know him, to truly know what he is in our life, what he is worth. That, that, that we will not be man of anointing and with, with, with no authority. Thank you. Lord. Jesus was able to fulfill his mandate and he was able to finish well as a man because he was pure, he was righteous and obedient to God. We must be like our Lord Jesus Christ. We must hate iniquity and love righteousness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you for calling us back and this is during this enlargement program. God bless you, ma'am. More anointing, more anointing. It's a privilege to serve in the vineyard. It is not a right. It is a privilege. And we must always remember that. Thank you for your mercy, oh, Lord. Blessed be the name of God. Thank you, Daddy. We worship you in the name of Jesus. We have prayed. Amen. Now we are going to welcome our daddy, our evangelist, Mike Bamila. Uh, that's my daddy. If somehow when I say evangelist, Mike Bamila, I feel like I'm just calling him the, but I want to say, daddy, you are welcome. It's a privilege. It's a privilege to be part of this. I'm really honored. Thank you so much, sir, for the uh, prophetic declaration. It is now time for you, sir. Welcome, daddy. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Yes, this morning, we thank the Lord for great things God has done. Thank God for the message from our mommy. And um, so we come to the prophetic declaration of this night. Trusting the Holy Spirit that God is walking in our midst. And we thank God for all the move of God that he has begun in us. Praise the Lord. Now, we, I want us to look at the book of um, First Corinthians. The First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 to 20. Verse 19 to 20. That is where the word is coming from um, this night. And it goes this way. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have in God, which you have of God, 
and ye are not your own. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Tonight, the Lord is asking that question from us. Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which you have of God, and you are not your own? So tonight, we are bringing the prayer point, the prophetic declaration from this point. That the Lord is saying, our body, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Ideally, the Lord wants you to know that the Holy Spirit is, the, is inside of the temple. That the Holy Spirit is inside the temple and the, and, 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 and the Holy Spirit is inside the temple, which is your body. So finally, the Lord wants you to know that your body is not your own. It is a dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. And that is where the key word is coming from. Our body, temple of the Holy Ghost, and that therefore we should glorify God in our body. That is the first prophetic declaration that the Lord wants to bring out to us. It is a good news that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. It means by the power of the Holy Spirit, you are carried as a child of God. Thank God for the message that Amoni has just given. If you have given your life to Jesus Christ, then your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. There is a divine understanding that inside of you is the temple of the Holy Spirit. You are carrier of the temple of the Holy Spirit. Now, if that be the case then, it means that the Bible says you are not of yourself. You are not your own. The spirit of God is inside of you. And that is a very, very important understanding. First Corinthians chapter three, verse 16 to 17 says, do you not know that you are the temple of God and the spirit of God dwells in you. If anyone defies the temple of God, God would destroy him for the temple of God is holy, which is which temple you are. When I read this, I am so glad. When I read this, I am so happy. It is a great information for me to understand that if anyone or anything attempts to defy the temple of God, God will destroy that thing. In that case, the temple is originally holy, and you are that temple. Therefore, every sickness, every infirmity inside that temple is trying to defile it. And God has decreed that that thing shall be destroyed. Every infirmity, every affliction that is inside of your body presently is a stranger. And God has declared that he shall destroy it. I therefore stand upon the word of God that everything inside this temple, which is the temple of the Holy Spirit, the temple that is looking at me right now, which is the temple of the Holy Spirit, the Bible says, you are not yourself. Holy Spirit is dwelling inside of you. He said, if anything wants to defy that temple, he will destroy it. Every, any ulcer that wants to defy that temple is destroyed tonight. Any affliction that wants to destroy that temple, want to defy the temple, is destroyed tonight. Any migraine that wants to defy that temple is destroyed tonight. Any ulcer that wants to defy that temple is destroyed tonight. Any, or any cancer that is trying to infiltrate that temple and defy the temple and desecrate it tonight by the power of God, by the word of God that is settled in heaven, that the temple belongs to God. It does not belong to cancer. It doesn't belong to ulcer. It does not belong to migraine. It doesn't belong to pain. It doesn't belong to blindness. It does not belong to pain. It does not belong to blindness. It doesn't belong to damp. It doesn't belong to death. It doesn't belong to blood. To blockade of the brain. It does not belong to any skeletal disease. It does not belong to COVID. It is the temple of God. It belongs to God. Anything that wants to enter that body to defile it tonight by the word of God that says the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. That thing is destroyed tonight. You infirmity that is trying to defy that body, you are destroyed tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Mark chapter 11, verse 15 to 17 says, so they came to Jerusalem. Then Jesus Christ went into the temple and began to drive out all those who bought and those and sold in the temple and overturned the tables of the money changer and the seats of those who sold those. And he will not allow anyone to carry wares through the temple. Then he thought, saying to them, is it, not, is it not written, my house, that is, is it not written, my house shall be house of prayer for, for all nations, but to have made it den of thieves. The Lord Jesus Christ has declared again what our body is. The body is the house of prayer. This temple is the house of prayer. It's the house of, house of praises, house of honor. It is the house of glorification of God. Anything contrary to praises in your body, anything contrary to house of prayer in your body, anything that has to do with cancer or disease or sickness or infirmity is, is, is selling. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a spirit of that buys and sell. Jesus Christ is entering into that temple and is turning away the temple of money changers. He's turning away the tables of forces of darkness that are changing and exchanging sickness and infirmities, afflictions in your body. Jesus is turning away the temple and destroying all the seeds of the money changers in your body in the mighty name of Jesus. The body is meant for praises. Your body is meant for prayers. Your body is meant for the glory of God. Your body is meant for only sacrifices. Your body is meant for, the, for manifestations of signs and wonders. Anything contrary to that, anything contrary to that is defiling the temple. And God decreed tonight, and we stand upon that decree tonight, that that thing is destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Every sickness, every infirmity, trying to destroy the temple. You are buying and selling in the temple of God. Jesus has entered the temple tonight and is turning, turning the table of money changer, destroying the seats of those who sell doves, who sell doves of diseases in your body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All your, all, all your sickness and infirmity, buying and selling in this temple that is looking at me, in this temple that is taking up this prayer, in this temple that is listening to this prophetic declaration, all your sickness and infirmity, selling and buying. Jesus overturned your tables in the name of Jesus. Jesus overturned all your seats. All your seats of demons and diseases, all demons and devils sitting down inside this temple, buying and selling, selling, selling sickness, selling infirmities, selling pain, exchanging peace, exchanging your peace for sickness. Jesus Christ overturned, upturned your, your table tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus upturned your table tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mark chapter 1, verse 32 and 34. At evening, when the sun was set, the Bible says, when the sun was set, they brought to him all who were sick and those who were demon possessed. And the whole city was gathered together at the door. Then he healed many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons. And he did not allow demons to speak. He didn't ask questions from them. He did not allow them to communicate. No negotiation. Tonight, Jesus Christ is coming upon your life. He's entering into this temple and casting out all sickness, all diseases, casting out all demons, no question. No explanation is casting them out of this temple that is looking at me. This temple of the Holy Ghost. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. And as you sit down and you are hearing this, Jesus is entering into the temple and casting away all sickness, casting away all diseases, casting away all demons. And he's asking no question. And he's asking no, there's no deliberation, no negotiation. They are cast out of your body in the name of Jesus. Jesus, every sickness, every infirmity, every diseases, every affliction, every generational causes that is buying and selling inside this body, I cast you out of the body that is listening and hearing me in the name of Jesus. 
Do you know why? Jesus did not allow them to speak. There is no question about uh, what happened to you. When did it happen? You too, maybe it is your fault. When grace is in operation, protocols are broken. Jesus did not want to ask those who are possessed. Maybe they cause it or they don't cause it. Jesus is present and he has come with healing. And therefore he enters into this temple tonight and is destroying and dismantling all the tables of buyers and sellers, all seats of dove sellers that are selling diseases and sicknesses in your body. They are cast out now from this temple in the mighty name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 8, verse 16. And it says, when evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon-possessed. And he cast out the spirit with a word. And he healed all those who were sick. All sickness, all infirmity are cast out now, tonight, from this temple in the mighty name of Jesus. All sickness, all infirmity are cast out now from this temple in the mighty name of Jesus. All sickness, all infirmity, all affliction are cast out now from your body in the name of Jesus. Therefore, I speak to all you forces of darkness, all you demons, all you devils that are sitting in the temple and selling sickness and exchanging sickness. Your table is upturned and I command in the name of Jesus, get out of this temple now in the name of Jesus Christ. All demons, you are cast out of this temple tonight in the name of Jesus. All you evil spirit, you are cast out. I command you, be cast out of this temple in the name of Jesus. Second Chronicle chapter seven, verse one. When Solomon had finished praying, Fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and sacrifice. Ah. And the glory of the Lord filled the temple. That is it. The glory of the Lord filled this temple tonight. Fire come down from heaven, first of all, then the glory come. So therefore, I pray tonight, let fire from heaven come upon this temple and enter into the temple and consume all consumables, consume all afflictions, consume all generational causes, consume all foundational problems in the name of Jesus. Let fire come and descend upon this temple and flush out from this temple and burn to ashes on this temple. All infirmity, all affliction, all diseases, inside this body, from the head of the temple, from the pinnacle of the temple to the foundation of it. Everything that is causing defilement in this temple, you are burnt in the name of Jesus. And you are cast out of this temple as Jesus is casting it out, as Jesus cast out all those seeds, all those that are selling and buying inside this temple, you are sent out of this temple of the Holy Spirit that are listening and partaking in this program tonight in the name of Jesus. The glory of the Lord then came. After fire has done its work, then glory came. So tonight I declare the glory of the Lord is coming down into this temple now. The glory of the Lord is filling the temple. The glory of the Lord is replacing infirmity in your life. The glory of the Lord is, re is replacing affliction in your life. The glory of the Lord is replacing sickness in your life. The glory of the Lord is replacing infirmity and sickness and generational causes and foundational problems. The glory of the Lord is replacing them in your life. The Tarnomi chapter 28, verse 4. What does this say? He said, Blessed shall be the fruit of your body. After this, after this experience, manifestation of God's glory in your life. Everything that shall begin to come out of your body henceforth shall be blessed. Blessed shall be the fruits of your body. Everything coming out of this temple, the praises shall be blessed. The worship shall be blessed. Anything coming out of you shall be blessed. Your children shall be blessed. The fruit of your womb shall be blessed. The fruit of your body shall be blessed. All your children shall be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. And finally, the Tarnomi chapter 28, verse 11, it says, And the Lord God will grant you plenty of goods 
in the fruits of your body. There shall be plenteous, there shall be enlargement, there shall be expansion, there shall be increase that comes out of your life. Your life shall lead to increase, fruitfulness, productivity in the mighty name of Jesus. Your body remains temple of the Holy Ghost, Thenceforth, anything that wants to crawl in to defile it, henceforth is destroyed, henceforth, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. That was glorious. Thank you so much. Daddy, God will continue to use you. He will continue to use you mightily for us, for our generation. You have done, you and mommy both, you have done a lot in this generation. And we just thank God for your life. And we just pray that the, the grace of God, the anointing of God will never run dry in your life in the name of Jesus. As we continue our prayer, we pray as daddy has said, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And we pray right now that every, he will get rid of every spirit of temperament, of anger, of lust, of anything that defiles our body, that will not make the Holy Spirit to enter, that every that right now, it is gone and we are delivered right now in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God in the eyes. Glory be to him. Paul said, I may know him and know the power of his resurrection. That we may know him and know the power of his resurrection. Blessed be your holy name, O Lord. Daddy, we just thank you will just worship you. You are the grace I am that I am. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you again one more time. Um, Daddy Bamiloye, you are awesome. You're a blessing to this generation. Not even just for drama ministers, you are a blessing. As we are coming to a conclusion um, for today, I'm not sure if I even introduced myself. My name is Olayinka uh, Ponle. And um, let me see, I think we should have um, some announcements. Batch seven announcements um, We. If you go to the Zion Institute Alumni International Fellowship presents a six day festival of international Christian movies from the 25th to the 30th of January 2021. This festival will feature full length movies, short films, Christian cartoons and animation, gospel documentaries, spoken words, musicals, and special promos. Gather your friends and family to experience God in a different dimension through this virtual movie screening via Zoom. It will leave a great mark upon your life, your home, and ministry. Zoom ID is 864-808-98078. Password is festival. For more information, contact via WhatsApp at 832-274-1008 or send an email to filmfestival at mountzionalumni.org. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Ministry. This is for all ministers of the gospel who intend to use their acting skills and gifts for God. The Mount Zion Institute of Christian Drama presents an online certificate course in church drama ministry. This is for all ministers of the gospel who intend to use their acting skills and gifts for God. The date is February 1st to February 6th, time 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Nigerian time. The course fee is 5,000 Naira. This is facilitated by evangelist Mike Babilohe. To register, go to the link below. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 The link is the for the badge seven. The link is right there at the chat uh, on our chat, and you will see it right there. Glory be to God in the highest. Now, we'll, for our closing, we'll go to um to evangelist. Bola Ola Ogun. Thank you for our closing praise. Amen. Praise the Lord. Are you hearing me, ma? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As we close uh, today's uh, program, we're going to be praising God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. He has done great things. And I also want to thank God once again for the privilege given to me 
to serve God and to praise God uh, with us this evening. May the Lord be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm sorry, what happened? Amen. My diverse is the one to play. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh my God. Hallelujah. My music is not playing. Let me sing without music. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Lord, you are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah, you are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Oh Jehovah, you are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah, you are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. You are the eyes I used to see. You are the key that opens the door. You are the lover of my soul. The bush of bonnet and the back of What shall I render to you, O Lord? I will bow down and worship my name. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. You are the eyes I used to see. You are the key that opens the door. You are the lover of my soul. They push the bonnet and never close What shall I render to you, O oh Lord? I will bow down and worship my name. You are the Lord. All around me, all around me, all around me. Any Lord you to more fear you. Any Nick or Karate more fear she left. Any glory to you, God. You know I get a jack of joy. Give me money to mole mu awo. Mo wo le mo ki oba mi. Olorun mi, olorun mi, olorun mi, olorun mi. I love you, feel it all. Any nickel karate more fish in the pool, any lorry to move car. You know, I yell, Jack or Johnny. Give me money to mole mua, more level key of me. All of me, you are the Lord, you are the Lord, you are the Lord, you are the eyes I used to see. You are the key that opens the door. You are the lover of my soul. They push the bonnet and never consume. What shall I render to you, Lord? I will bow down and worship your name. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. You are the eyes I used to see. You are the key that holds the door. You are the love out of my soul. They push the bonnet I never pursue. What shall I render to you, O Lord? I will bow down and worship the name. You are the Lord. All around me, all around me, all around me. 
Enyi loju ti mo fi ngiran Enyi ni kokoro ti mo fi sile Enyi lori ti mo nko Ina aye o je ko joni Kini mo ni ti mo le mu wa o O le mo ki oba ni Olorun mi o Jehovah you are the most high. Eh, hey, you are the most high God. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most I go. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most I go. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most I go. Oh, you are the most I go. We say you are the most high God. Jehovah, you are the most high. Hey, you are the most high God. We say you are the most high. Lord, there is no one else like you. Lord, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God. Jehovah, you are the most high. Hey. You are the most high God. Jehovah, I praise you. Jehovah, I praise you. Jehovah, I praise you. Jehovah, I praise you. Jehovah, Jehovah, praise you. Jehovah, I praise you. Jehovah, I praise you. Jehovah. Praise you, Jehovah, you are the most high. Hey, you are the most high God. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah. You are the most high God, King of Kings. You are the most high, Lord of Lords. You are the most high, Heavenly Father. You are the most high, we lift you high. You are the most high God, Jehovah. You are the most high, we worship you. You are the most high God, Adonai. You are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God, Son of God, you are the most high. We praise the name, you are the most high God. You be lifted up, you are the most high. We lift to our Jesus, you are the most high. We assert to Jesus, you are the most high. We praise you, Jesus, you are the most high God. We assert to Jesus, you are the most high. There is no one like you. You are the most high God, Jehovah. You are the most high, Jehovah. You are the most high God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I think my time is up. I don't know if I should continue. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you, ma. God bless you real good. Amen. Thank you so much, ma. The devil is a liar. We will still worship our God. Regardless, if we don't have any tambourine or anything, we will still worship him. So it's okay. It's okay. It is blessed. I just want to remind us, we're coming to a close. Uh, join us tomorrow again um, for another session of the prophetic declaration. Same ID. And as well, I'm sure we can see what is on the screen right now. It's starting tomorrow, film festival. Film festival starting tomorrow, uh, 3 p.m. Nigerian time. Please. Please, 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 please let us be part of that. And it will be wonderful in the name of Jesus. Also, don't forget on the chat, um, we do have the, 
the batch seven, the link is there on the badge as well. All right, now it is time for us to go and uh, we'll be uh, closing right now. We thank God for what he has done. We thank God for what he will continue to do in our life. And we thank you for delivering us tonight. Um, for delivering our body that is the temple of the holy spirit blessed be your holy name oh god we thank you oh lord because we know redemption has started with us we know that deliverance has started with us tonight blessed be your holy name we thank you oh lord now it's time for the hallelujah hallelujah everybody say hallelujah hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah Hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh